Hello everyone, uh, back to these lessons here. Uh, today I'm going to be making a lesson in Indonesian, lesson for Indonesian. Um, I just made this video not too long ago. I, I tried to upload it on YouTube, but what happened, I went over 10 minutes and I have a director's account and they still didn't let me go over 10 minutes, so I don't know what the deal is with that. But anyway, uh, let's get started here. Alright, so I'm going to try to do this quick because I can't go past 10 minutes and I don't think I'm going to make two parts. So, Alright, so this is a dialogue here between my, my, me and a best friend, uh, Ichimaru, and I am Tikus. So Ichimaru will be starting first. Okay, so we have Apakabar, Bagaimana Kabar Anda. Okay, Apakabar, Bagaimana Kabar Anda. So basically, hello, um, how are you? And if I break it down literally, it's Bagaimana Kabar Anda. How is the news of you? Okay. Now, uh, an interesting thing about the certain words in Indonesian, they break them down. Okay. They break them down and they abbreviate. So this bagaimana means how. If you go to like a chat room, they will write it this way. Uh, they will write gmana. Okay. Abbreviated gmana. Okay. So, how are you? Second line, me, baik baik saja, terima kasih, dan anda. So, I am well. I am just well. Thanks. And you? So, here you, another thing you'll see in Indonesian is they put a number two here um, after certain words. It's a repetition marker, okay? So, they put that repetition marker next to a word that, that, that will go baik baik or saja or aja aja or something like that. So, here it's just baik baik. They put a number two here just to you know, indicate that that's repetition, okay? So, saja, um, just, bike, bike, saja, just good, terima kasih, dananda. Now, here is a, another word they abbreviate. Saja becomes aja. Saja becomes aja, okay? So, ichimaru, saya juga bike. I am also good. Sembari, by the way, kenapa anda ingin belajar bahasa, bahasa Indonesia? So by the way, why do you why do you want to study Indonesian? Okay, so I mean the grammar is not really that bad. It's pretty easy. The language is pretty easy, and I'm guessing uh, if you take one week and eight hours a day, one week, you should be able to conversate in Indonesian uh, with a native speaker pretty well. If you spend eight hours a whole week studying, okay, that's how easy this language is. The, the grammar is not that bad. It's not so bad, okay. So, can I have another English better than better than Bahasa Indonesia? Now, let's see here. Belajar means to study. Okay, they abbreviate that also as lajar. Lajar. And Bahasa, which is language, they abbreviate it as BHS. BHS. Now, this is only in Indonesian. They don't do that in Malaysian. I I don't think they do that in Malaysian. It's just Indonesian. They abbreviate their words like that okay uh, they might use no I don't think they use the number two for the uh, repetition okay so that's that okay next line karena saya pikirian bahasa ini tidak begitu sukar dan bahasa menarik sekali saja okay so because I think that uh, this language bahasa ini um, tidak begitu it's not that difficult tidak begitu sukar and dan Bahasa menarik, menarik sekali saja. So, now, um, see, karena saya pikir yang bahasa ini tidak begitu sukar. So, bahasa ini, so, the, um, what we call them, demonstratives, okay? The demonstrative comes after the noun in Indonesian. Likewise, the adjective. The, ad the adjective comes after the noun, unlike English, okay? So, we went over, so, bahasa, we went that, we previous to PHS. Uh, T doc, they will abbreviate that as tak. Tak. Begi tu, gi tu. Now, begi tu means this way or like this, but when you put it together with like a, a, an adjective like sukara, it'll mean like, it'll mean this difficult or that difficult. Okay, so tak begi tu, that's the abbreviation. Those are the abbreviations, okay? And bahasa, we went over that before. Bahasa, BHS, Minari Skali, Saja. Now, Saja becomes Aja. 
Saja becomes Aja. Saja becomes Aja. Now let me look at my time. Okay, five. Okay, so Venatica, Apaka, Anda, uh, oh, oh, we were here. Vasa, Venatica, Skali, Saja. So, and the languages are very interesting. Minatic is interesting. Minatic, okay. Minatic, Skali. Skali is very, okay. Um, let's see here. Oh, okay. Venatica, really? Apaka, Anda, Perenake, Negara, Indonesia. So, really? And uh, apaka, now this apaka here is, is basically, you use that when you're asking questions and it's, it, 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 when you're asking questions and you're expecting a yes or no answer, that's when you use this apaka, okay? So apaka anda perena, have you ever had the experience of going to the country of Indonesia? Now I dropped pedigi, I could have put pedigi here, which means to go, but it's implied, pedigi ke negara Indonesia, go to the country of Indonesia, okay? So, Pedana, there isn't really a translation in English for that. It's just, you just have to explain, tell people that that's, it's just a word indicating experience, okay? So, whatever the experience is, you have to put Pedana before that, okay? So, Pedana, Pedigi, have the experience of going. So, the verb comes after that Pedana, okay? So, uh, what other words here? Negara, and okay? Okay, Bellum, not yet. Tetapi, uh, but... Mungkin setelah tamat sekolah saya akan kesana. So not yet, but perhaps after graduation of school, uh, saya akan kesana. Saya akan. I will go there. And again, I dropped off pedigi here because it's already implied. Pedigi ke. So I will to there. I will go to there. Uh, pedigi. I, I could also say saya akan pedigi kesana. Okay. And in this sentence, tetapi is another, you can abbreviate tetapi as tapi. They abbreviate that as tapi. Mungkin setela. Setela is after. So you can abbreviate that as tela. That's how they abbreviate that word, tela. Okay, and that's all. That's, that's all the abbreviations in that sentence. And last line, keren abis. That means cool. Keren abis. I think it's slang. Keren abis. Okay. So, uh, let's see here, seven, almost eight minutes, okay. So, um, that's pretty much it. That's the dialogue for uh, Indonesian, and I, I wanted to show you guys the interesting parts of breaking down the um, abbreviating, abbreviating the letters. So, it's a pretty fun language to learn. It's not that difficult, like I said, and uh, it won't take you that long to become fluent in the language. As long as you practice every day, study every day, you'll be successful at that. Um, of course, uh, getting, having the right resources and whatnot will, will also help you uh, learn the language. But it's definitely an easy language. It's so easy. So I would recommend any of you who, any of you who are aspiring polyglots sh should uh, definitely look into learning Indonesian or Malaysian. I mean, it doesn't really matter. If you speak Indonesian, you, you, you speak Malaysian. It's pretty much the same, just some slang difference and whatnot. So uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting language and easy. So I've never studied I've never studied Spanish before, but I, I think I can say that this is easier than Spanish because you don't have to worry about um, all you don't have to worry about grammar that much and a lot of changes in uh, gender all the gender masculine all that stuff masculine feminine they don't have that in uh, Indonesia so that's one less worry about that so this is pretty much it for this dialogue here um, I'll be making more dialogues to show you guys uh, in different languages. Uh, I made this Indonesian one because someone asked me to make it, and I have to make an Arabic one also. So, Arabic one, Korean, just, just some other ones. But if you guys have any questions about anything, you, you know, uh, if you're interested more about Indonesian, I can make some more videos in Indonesian, and I'll be happy to do that. So, um, it's very unfortunate that I have to worry about the time on making these videos, but it's okay. Uh, thanks for uh, viewing the video, and like I said, if you guys have any questions, just uh, send me a message, and I'll get back to you um, ASAP.